To build this LJL, you're going to need um, some pretty standard hardware items. Um, we've got these are um, one and a half inch PVC end caps, and I've cut a one and a half inch PVC tube, ten inches long. We've got uh, two little uh, galvanized steel T brackets. We're going to use that to make our um, winding jig. Uh, I got some clear tape, got some solder, some drill bits. This is uh, the transistor. It's the uh, 2N3055. Maybe a couple of switches if you want a dimmer and an on off switch. Quarter 20 bolts. These are one and a half inch long, that's fine. Got some 20 gauge copper magnet wire. And this is, um, this is kind of like house wiring. It's a uh, vinyl coated PVC insulated stranded copper 14 gauge. All right, I've drilled um, holes, quarter inch holes on these end caps. Try and get them centered. Um, I actually put this in a lathe and got a center mark first. Um, if you can get them really, really centered, it's going to be helpful. Otherwise, your uh, winding is going to be a little more difficult. I'm going to take these quarter 20 bolts, pop that through, put a nut on it. You might want to use a lock washer, just cinch that down. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is um, push these end caps on. Don't put them on super tight. We're going to want to make two marks. This is where our wire is going to exit. You can see this. I'm going to make a mark here. One inch away, I'm going to make a mark there. Put that one on. There we go. Exactly nine inches. Make a mark here and here, one inch apart. And then you will um, drill those with a 3 16th drill. Okay, that's done. That's how that's going to look. We've got our um, two holes here. We're going to use one hole just for the secondaries, and the other hole is for the primary. Really don't want those two laying tightly through a hole next to each other. Okay, so this is ready to go. Let's just take this and bend that up at a 90 degree angle. I just hold it with a pair of pliers and do it by hand. Our brackets are ready to go. We'll screw these down to the table and we'll be ready for turning. Okay, so when you've got that um, tight on both sides, you'll be able to turn it nice and s slow or faster. And that's going to help us a lot when we've got to do this. I put my spool on a any kind of a rod and a vise, and um, have your, your loose ends on the top so they don't uh, interfere. And then this will just feed off for us. Go ahead and feed that in. You have to kind of curl it around until we get to that point. Okay, and that's where we're going to start. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape here. so that doesn't slide out. Pull that tape out later. Really the first the first couple of uh, turns are going to be the most critical. I just want those to be straight and neat.
stop right where the hole is. And that's one layer done. This is just clear um, packing tape. And I'm going to start with the corner of it right here. We can trim it afterwards. And I'm just going to roll this by hand. Kind of an angle so it overlaps. So that's done, and we will trim that. You can see the end there. And any of those little wrinkles we can kind of smooth out. This tape is thin. And this actually makes the next layer a lot easier to go on. I'm going to pull this piece of tape out now because black tape in these is kind of ugly. We'll just get it out of there. And we will trim this. I really, really don't want any of that showing. Okay, that's the first layer. So then the second layer we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to pull this out till we have a good four inches showing and we're going to wind this one exactly the same way. So I'll put a little bend in that so I know how far I have to put it in. When we're all done, we'll just pull these out, use a continuity tester, and find out which of the loops. Uh, first couple of turns are the toughest, just to get them nice and neat and straight. This time I'm actually just kind of doing it by hand. Shove them over a little bit so they're tight. Same thing. This is our second turn. Again, notice I'm holding the wire just a little off parallel with the turns. And it tends to lay in there nice and tight. So it's all done. And now we're ready to put the, the primary on. This is the three layers of secondary with um, the clear plastic tape between. And it wound on real nice and tight. About that much. So I'm going to tuck that in. And we'll just start to wind this up. Push them on. You know, you don't want to see any copper. Now I'll count those turns, and they should be pretty close to 73 to 75. All right, we got 76 turns. The way I do it is I just take uh, something soft and, and I just pull over every time I click, I count. So this one has 76 turns, which is fine. So we'll pull it out. 